Optimus. Ah, Optimus. I'm the leader of the Autobots. This guy's cool. I think. This is from Optimus Rise. Prime. This is, guys, our first Voyager class from the new movie Rise of the Beasts. Yes. Yes. You take a look at the packaging. So far, our one and only Rise of the Beast toy. We have, although there is some really cool stuff coming out in the studio. And only in studio, so uh, stay tuned, look forward for that. Some of it's not out yet, will be coming out later in 2023. So keep your eyes peeled. We're gonna try to get to that is, as soon as it happens. This is mainline, by the way. Yeah, this is the main line. This is obviously not studio. Uh, I like this pose of him on the box art with him getting ready to punch. This is cool, huh? Yeah. That is a really good shot. I, I like this shit. This is, it's just a really good shot. Yeah, that's really good. Um, and then, of course, the, it's cut down for the side. All right, so here we have him in robot mood, and we have him in vehicle mood. Rise of the Beast, they, the main line they're calling Core, but this is uh, Voyager class. Uh, core, I think, is a really dumb designation. So we're not going to use it. We're just going to call it a movie line toy, which is what it is. It's a Voyager. Transformers Rise of the Beast, yes, is Voyager class. And let's put this over there. Alright. Okay, so there is Robo. Let's take a look at him in Robo mood. Nice and close up. Oh, wait, there is his his weapon here. His ion blaster. Uh, very good weapon here. I'm just going to show you guys the detail right here. Yeah, really good, uh, really good detail on the weapon. Uh, we got the uh, badges, the emblem on the shoulders there. We've got some. Uh, oh no, no rotation at all. It just, you can see the ball joint, but it just flips in and out. Oh, whoa. The, that goes in for the transformation. So this is just, this is just a very slight rotation. Look at this, you can't, you can't rotate anything. Oh, wow, that's weird. Uh, you can, there's, again, wow. There is rotation here, there so I guess you could do that. There is a buzzword the Optimus coming out for Rise of the Beast the studio. Uh, be. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be part of the, uh, Target exclusive toy line, guys. But we keep it an eye out and all that stuff. Definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, so we got the we got this really cool shield here, about the wood shield. First impressions for the rest of the beast playlist. Yes, uh, we've got some okay detail here. I I don't know why they chose to go just this really funky gray for almost everything, and uh, I it's frustrating. I mean, even the smokestacks are this stupid gray color. And also, they have little flaps. Uh, yeah, yeah we it got It looks these. like he can fly now. Uh, those are supposed to be like wind things. Uh, let's take a look at the face sculpt. Face sculpt is... Really quite good. This face sculpt is excellent. Uh, but I mean, it's Optimus. They, if, you, if, you, if you're screwing up Battle Mask Optimus at this point in your Hasbro, you got real problems. Uh, what I do like here, though, is I do like the taillights that are on <laughs> his legs, right above the knees. That's pretty cool. Uh, he does. He's got some decent actual leg articulation. He here. His leg articulation is better than his arm articulation, which is just really not Mediocre. great. Mediocre. It is. Yeah, it's just not. It's not very good. Shall we? It is nice that they put. So, so here's all the. God, this is so funny to me. Look, we got gray everything. Gray everything. We got blue here, blue here, and blue here on his helmet. That's it. <laughs> and then they got the acrylic here. And then uh, there's a little bit of red here as well for the cab, but um, yeah. You can also look at his back and see his two wheels that are also in the vehicle. So I think this is actually one of the thinnest. Just This is like Optimus Light in robot mode. 
usually he's just a bee, big, beefy, brawling bruiser. And uh, All here... All sets out with B. Yes, the alliteration, yes. Uh, here, I... Uh, 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 he's just... He's, this is Diet Optimus. This is, this is Optimus Light. But uh, yeah, I don't love him in robot mode. Why don't we show his superior mode then? Yes, this is what actually sold this for Leo. Uh, this is uh, part of the um, birthday toy haul for 2023. Which you can go check out. Uh, that video may or may not be up by the time you guys see this one. And also, his, um, his tires. Yeah, he's got tires, yep. Yeah. All right. So seeing this in vehicle mode is really what what sealed the deal for Leo. So. All right. So first, hold in the fists. Hold up these flaps. I, I like to do this step a bit earlier. Then, so if you try to get those windows out anymore, they'll just snap off. So luckily, it's a tension clip. You can just snap these back on. All right. So take this tag flap right here. See that? and move it in, or put the head down first, actually. Making the top of the truck. Beautiful. All right. So, pull down these things. Pull the little bumper section. Flip it around here. Hold these windows in, close them fully. Just connect the waist from the chest so you can fold it like that. <gasps> Done! Perfect. Alright. So then you tab in the legs. Then you uh, move in the feet. In order to connect the feet, you have to... Come on. You have to un um, hinge the trailer peg here. Trailer hitch and connect it. Then move these arms back. Take these smokestacks and pull them into here, do this on both sides. And if you're following along, it should look like this. Lovely. Flip out the tires for this part. We're going to do this part a bit later, so just flip out the tires for now. Take the arms. Hold them into the back here. And you see, you see this little tab right here? And then you see that little slot right there? Tab this little peg into that slot in order to connect the arm. And tab the... There's another slot that tabs into the shoulder here. Do it again. Repeat for both sides. Alright, we're almost done. Move this part down fully, sort of, and just just get it in the wheel crevices. It's a truck, all right. Oh yeah, and just ion blast who can be stored. That doesn't look very good. So we are going to. Oh, that looks fine. That actually looks better than otherwise. All right. Do the front wheels touch? With the legs? It looks like the front wheels aren't touching. Are they? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, wait. That's because we also have to put these. Oh, those. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. We have to tab these in the gear. Okay. Let me just do that real quick. Having the arms to solidly connect it to the rest of the cap. What? Hold on. Oh! This snaps off so easily. But... Hey, you have a truck that's touching now. Oh, there you go. You, you don't really need these. Is that the stairs that go behind the wheel? Where is it? What is that? Part of his waist. I guess I wanted it. Alright. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's check it out. Front mode. Oh, wait. These, this is supposed to be... Alright, there we go. 
I don't know where this piece goes, actually. I don't see anything missing here, but um, anyway, there's your piece back. You can put that back on later at your leisure. Okay, so um, I hate the wing. I really wish this wasn't here. This looks just idiotic to me. I, I just, I, I mean, I Hopefully get- Hopefully Buzzworthy is a bit better. The, this doesn't, like trucks don't do this. This is not how the hitches work. They don't, they don't have this. Um, yeah, I, I don't like that. Here's the other, like there's too much gray on this though. If this would have been white, all they had to do was make this white. Right, just the section here on the door and this section in front, and this is actually a decent looking movie toy. I know, so I think your interest in this was G1, the G1 styling, right? The cab over design. Uh, we've got the airfoils that here. That just screams classic Optimus. The, the airfoils I don't mind. Um, this, is, this is a little bit of Optimus panel, yeah. A little bit of Optimus also panel see the paint lines that would go up to this part to from this part. Yeah, they just got. I, I feel like there's no there's no even attempt at a shiny or silver here. Uh, they painted the lights blue for some reason. I don't know why they did that. The fog lights. Well, there's no headlights that would be here, but they painted these fog lights blue. Why I don't know. And then so you can see these knee the these why are there red lights here? What what possible function could that have? Look, there's red Stop lights here. here. Why are there red lights here? Like, why? I don't, I, I don't understand what they're doing. Oh, with if you this. look at it from the front, it looks okay. Well, so Leo likes this a lot more than I do. I, I think this is an atrocity. I, I'm not. They butchered Prime. It, it, well, I mean, so the Bumblebee toy line wasn't great. Uh, this Rise of the Beast. This is the only borderline acceptable toy I think we've come across so far. Except, oh, and actually, Ed Rhinox. in the smaller one, in the smaller one, remember that? They had him as, he looked like Sentinel Prime, actually, just yeah. with Optimus's paint colors. Which doesn't, I didn't see that appearing in the movie you at all. You can also go check out a Sentinel Prime review on our channel. Yeah, so if you want that sort of military truck, that's what the Optimus looked like in, it looked like almost a commander class, but it was, it was it one of their like goofy it classes. It looks like um, Optimus Prime's um, other truck mode in the Prime show. The truck mode he uses very rarely. The other one, once he gets revived with the Forge of Solas. Yeah, it was goofy. I, 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 I actually thought that was kind of a cool looking thing. Except for his feet were on the very back of it, which and, is and kind of what, what the one um, steps do sometimes. With the other, with this line, it's also really gimmicky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's the understatement of the year. <laughs> yeah, it is super gimmicky. So it isn't, they just cheaped out. Like like there's, all this gray is, this this wing is horrible, but all this gray I don't love. I mean, this is the only thing that they kind of went with a slightly shinier silver on, was these sort of, uh, th these, these sort of shaders. And that's fine, but man, like this one, the mirrors wouldn't be shiny. Like they wouldn't face traffic being shiny, right? Because mirrors. Other drivers. No, mirrors are for the driver to see what's behind them. You can't see what's behind you because it's clear acrylic. So it's like they got that exactly backwards, or they just didn't put the mirrored part on here. Like to me, this is just Hasbro being really, really lazy. And uh, man, the Rise of the Beast toy line, the, the actual movie toy line, is. Uh, honestly kind of junk uh, this one is okay I, I just like they they got lazy with it and they could have done so much more they could have actually had a really cool truck here all right let's, as it is it's just not bad all right let's transform it back into the other but, I, but I, I think Leo likes this a lot more than I do because it, it, it just frustrates me to no end all right so trailer hitch back into here also this was 35 bucks the toy you see in front of you is 35 bucks how is that possible Right? I don't know either. All right, so move the feet down after you put the trailer hitch in. At least I'm going off on a tangent here. <laughs> All right. All right, so also right. flip up these fuel canisters and tap them back into place. Split the legs, so now you have cab over truck with legs. That's gorgeous. Why didn't he do that in the movie? All right, all right. So move up cool. this front bumper piece and the front grill piece and move it into here, fold it back into the tires. Because remember, Sideswipe did that in that one where he half transformed and then just went on two wheels. 
like he was roller skating. Yeah, yeah. All right, so. I actually beat it too, remember? Yeah, so put the arms like that, fold the panels back in, flip these out, fold the hands back out. Flip out the whole knee cavity so it looks like, um, like this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright, so with these, you have to go very, very slightly just to open these like that. Otherwise, they will snap off. They're right. tension clips, luckily. Yeah. So flip the whole torso piece around like that. Flip out that. Put this panel back out like this, which will flip up the head. And then let, oh right, and then fold this bumper back up like that, and unless there's anything missing from this transformation, oh right. These things, they just need to go back and tab into the shoulders. And if I'm, unless there's anything missing for the, like the third time, <laughs> he's, oh, you have to tab the, <laughs> so unless there's anything missing for the fourth time. <laughs> so I will say this, here. if you got, if you out there feel comfortable Going to see Rise of the Beast in a theater, I strongly encourage you to do that because Transformer movies are spectacles and you can't compare. You can't compare to seeing them on the big screen, right? No matter how big of a TV, no matter how good of a sound system, and I have a big TV and I've got a great sound system, it just doesn't compare to being in a theater, right? Right. So absolutely, if you feel comfortable going to a theater right now i know this is these are disease times but if you feel comfortable strongly encourage you to see rise of the beast in a theater i would say it is actually one of the better live action movies certainly the cast is probably the best the humans have ever been and which is a good trend because before that bumblebee the movie was the best the human cast had ever been also so they movie, John Cena in that movie. movie da, well, da, 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 da. yeah, not not him. It was weird that they just had floating clothes. It, it was it was Haley Steinfeld that was really what carried that movie because she's fantastic. But in this movie, we had a couple. Uh, the one guy that does a lot of musicals, and then the other girl I didn't actually recognize for anything. Both of them just did a tremendous job. My major complaint with Rise of the Beast is that uh, what they did to Wheeljack was an abomination. And that that was it unjust deserves to die in a fire. That was unjustifiable, but everything else about the movie is generally pretty solid. I mean, it's runs other a little than too Wheeljack, long, which deserves to die in a fire. Uh, yeah, Wheeljack. They just I have no idea where they came up with that. That was idiotic, and and just not great. But but he's not in the movie very much, so it's bearable. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, when he's on screen, it's not. But when he's not which is most of the time, it's fine. Uh, definitely though, Rise of the Beast, even if the toy line is not very good, which it isn't, uh, the movie itself is probably near the top of the live action movies. So absolutely, if you can go see it in theaters, strongly encourage you to do that. But that's gonna conclude us here uh, until we start seeing some actual good toys from the movie, which will probably be studio series. Uh, that's going to conclude probably for the Rise of the Beast, but here's the first one, and of course, one of the all-time great Transformers characters, uh, is he or Optimus standing? Prime. I'm doing a handstand. I don't know why I have a gun on my foot. <laughs> I want to shoot you upside down. <laughs> no, that's Ratchet. Anyway, uh, so guys, Voyager class. From the movie line, they call it the core movie, whatever. Uh, Transformers Rise of the Beast. Hopefully you guys there enjoyed our look at this. <laughs> if you did, uh, please give us the old thumbs up, hit the red subscribe button if you've not done so already. He has great split potential. He's pretty crazy with some of the articulation, yeah, even sort of. Uh, guys, if there's a blue notification bell and comments available and you would care to use those, please feel free to do that. Also, go check out our community tab where there is our former Twitter exclusive stuff is now right here on YouTube.com. Oh! You move these tires out of the way? Yes. You can plug the back blaster into the back. Ah, handy. So there it is, guys. One last look. Voyager class, Optimus Prime, Transformers, 
Rise of the Beast. We will see you all. It looks like it's cleaning the gun. Oh, it does in fact look like that. Next time. Yeah, see you guys. Bye-bye.